Hello, everyone. Do you want to learn Chinese quickly and effectively? Then keep watching this video. You may know that Mandarin Chinese is the most widely spoken native language in the world. You may have also heard that Chinese is one of the world's most difficult languages to learn. But is that really true? It is true that Chinese has thousands of characters, hard to pronounce tones, and some unique grammar rules. But with these helpful tips and techniques, you can pick up Chinese and become a confident speaker. Let's get started. Tip 1. Apply the Pareto Principle to language learning. The Pareto Principle asserts that 80% of your results are produced by only 20% of your efforts. So how do we identify the important 20% of a language? Step 1. Learn high-frequency vocabulary plus personalized vocabulary. In Chinese, here are some high-frequency or very common words you should learn and know. You, 你, 你, I or me, 我, 我, to be, 是, 是, not, 不, 不, possessive particle, 的, 的, for example, to say my, you would say 我 and add the. We say 我的, 我的, he or him, 他, 他, she or her, 他, 他, this, 这, 这, to have. 有, 有, what, 什么, 什么. For personalized vocabulary, it's important to know what your learning goals and interests are. For example, are you learning Chinese for business or for travel? Focus on the most important words and phrases that are relevant for those goals. Step 2. Focus on core grammar rules. Here's some great news. Chinese grammar is fairly simple, logical, and structural. 1. Subject, verb, object, sentence structure. Fortunately, the Chinese sentence structure is similar to English in a lot of ways. Commonly starting with a subject, then a verb, then an object. Example, 我喜欢苹果 translates to I like apples. 我 subject, 喜欢 verb, 苹果 object. 2. Tenses Unlike English, Chinese does not have verb conjugations for tenses. Tenses are often expressed through context or time words. Example, 我昨天去商店了 translates to I went to the store yesterday. 昨天, yesterday indicates the past tense. 我明天去商店 translates to I will go to the store tomorrow. 明天, tomorrow indicates the future tense. Another bonus, Chinese non don't have genders, so you don't have to worry about the words being masculine or feminine, like you do with Spanish or French. Step 3. Understand the meaning of each character in a word and decipher other words. 
when you learn a new word, I recommend breaking it down into individual characters and understanding the meaning of each character. When you do this, it helps put the entire word into context while giving you insight into the meaning of other words with the same characters. For example, 电话 in Chinese means telephone in English. 电 means electricity. 话 means talk. So 电话 literally means electric speech. Another example, 电脑 in Chinese means computer in English. 电 means electricity. 脑 means brain. Electricity plus brain together means computer. Similar words include television, 电视, movie, 电影, battery, 电池, radio station, 电台, words related to the hand, 手, mobile phone, 手机, gloves, 手套, handkerchief, 手绢, bracelet, 手链. There are plenty of other Chinese words with common characters. Tip 2. How to improve your Chinese pronunciation and accent. Step 1. Learn the pinyin system. Pinyin turns Chinese songs into the Latin alphabet that we use in English. Mastering it will help you build a strong foundation for reading and speaking Chinese. Components of Chinese Pinyin 1. Initials correspond to consonants in English and appear at the beginning of a syllable. 2. Finals correspond to vowels in English and appear in the middle or end of a syllable. 3. Tones Mandarin has four basic tones. I did an entire video on the pinyin system, which you can view on this channel. Step 2. Practice the pronunciation and test your pronunciation. Practice your pronunciation with Rosetta Stone. Rosetta Stone offers bite-sized, immersive lessons by native Chinese speakers. Plus, the true accent feature is great because it gives you immediate feedback on how you sound. Tip 3. Accept embarrassment. You will never learn and master a language if you don't try. And when you try something new, you're going to make mistakes, and that might make you feel embarrassed. But don't let this stop you. You will learn from your mistakes, and you will succeed when you practice and keep at it. Tip 4. Be patient and persistent. Patience and persistence are the key to learning a new skill. And language learning is a skill that you can master with lots of practice. How do you feel? Is there a big game? Welcome everyone to discuss and share with me the comments area. Please subscribe to my channel and next class will be more exciting and useful. See you in the next class. Bye.